In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to build a professional looking website in five stages. So this is the final website we're working to achieve. So as you can see, this is a beautiful laid out website. In fact, once you've built this website, you can actually go in and change all the contents of this website. It's very easy to do, and I also show you step-by-step -step in this tutorial. Now, this video is for you if you're an entrepreneur, small business owner, or even a blogger, because it is very important nowadays to have a presence online. And in my opinion, this is the best way you can be online using these software and tools that I'll be showing you in today's tutorial. So I even have courses that I'm giving away to help you further your web design skills. So make sure you watch this video until the end. And if you have any questions, do ask your questions in the comments box below. And all the links that I talk about in this video are all in the comments box below. So go ahead and check those links out. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. Okay, let's kick start our tutorial with step number one. So this is where we get to register our domain name and hosting. So think of your domain name as your postal address and your hosting as your physical house. So on the internet, people want to get to your website. So by typing in the domain name, so one example of a domain name is let's say wordpress.com. So this is where you're directed to that actual website. So this is what you need for yourself. So to do this, we're going to go to InMotion Hosting. This is a company that I recommend. I use this company as well. They have a 50% discount. In fact, if you use my affiliate link in the description below, you'll get this discount and it's fantastic. And if you run into any problems, I'll be able to help you as well. And not only that, I also have two courses that I'll give you to help you with your web design process. The first course is Web Design Mastery using WordPress. And the second course is Divi Blueprint 3. I'll expand more as we proceed. Okay, so now that we're here in, on InMotion Hosting, the first thing you wanna do is to choose your package. The one I recommend is the business hosting. So come over here, click on Learn More. Okay, so right now you can see we can build up to six websites with this package and we also have unlimited disk space, we have unlimited bandwidth, unlimited email, and it is two times the performance. So this is why I would go with the power uh, over the launch. Okay, and then over here we also have some marketing tools. I don't really use this to be honest, but I'll expand this as we Go, uh, go ahead. We also have a free SSL. Now, this is very, very important because Google is making this mandatory moving forward. So all the websites without the SSL, they are going to be penalized when it comes to search results. So what is SSL? This is a secure sockets layer, and this allows you to send encrypted data onto your website. You'll know that your website has SSL when you take a look here at the top and you see this little chain here, okay? So this just tells you that your connection is secure. Okay, so moving on, what you want to do next is to come over here to the order. So we have two options here. We have two years and we also have one year. And to be honest, I would just go ahead and go with the two years. So I'll come over here, click on two years. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here is to make sure you've got your discount. So over here, we can see that you have uh, minus $96. So that's your uh, discount over here, which is great. And it also works out to $5.99 per month. Now over here, this is where you configure your server. Uh, so uh, if you're in the States, you can just choose your nearest data center. But to be honest, this works fine for me. I just go with any of these, even though I'm here in the UK. Right over here for dedicated IP, you don't need this. So leave it out. Okay. And then over here for the web design, again, you don't need uh, any quick startup packages. Just ignore that. Now, here's the most important stage. You want to make sure that you install WordPress, okay? So I'm going to come over here and uh, select install WordPress and then click on continue. All right, so this is where you get to choose your domain name. Uh, you also have an option here if you already have a domain name, but uh, in this case, I'm assuming that you don't have a domain name. So over here is where you uh, add your domain name. So let's say uh, the domain name is I want to build a website. Dot com. And notice here, we also have these extensions here, but uh, I recommend dot com. Okay, so next you want to hit on click search. So this is where now going back to an analogy, um, if your postal address is already taken, of course, you can't have duplicate ones. So this is where now this system will check to see if it's available. And look, it's, it is available. Okay, so I want to build a website is available. Okay, if not, you have to just keep trying until you get one domain that's available. And then you need to click on add to cart. Now, if you already have a domain name, that's fine too. You can always click here, enter your domain name, and then you continue. So um, I'm just going to go back over here, click on add to cart. 
Okay, so now that, uh, that has been added. Now, the next stage is to uh, hit this button here to continue. So I'm going to click here on continue. Over here, it's talking about domain privacy. So this is where if you want your information to be uh, shown uh, on the internet, like pretty much who owns this domain, uh, you might as well, you know, just uh, leave it on yes or no, no thanks. But if you want to protect your name and uh, not to show people who owns this domain name, then you want to click on yes, protect my information. But to be honest, I go with just no thanks because I'm, I'm not really bothered. And then after you've done that, all you have to do now is to hit continue so you can Either use this one here or that one. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to click here. Okay, so we're almost done. We are now at the billing stage. So this is where you want to add your email address. So uh, this is what you do if you're a new customer. So I'm going to add my email address here. And make sure your email address is spelled correctly because you don't want your emails to go to the wrong place. Right, so next you're going to click on continue. Now we need to uh, add all our information. So here goes your first name, last name, your company name, if you have one. But if not, that's fine. It's not mandatory. And then here is where you choose your country. You add your address. And over here, our email address is there. You need to confirm it. And then once you're done with that, the last stage now is to confirm your payment method. So if you're using a credit card, you just add, enter your information on there. Now, once you hit review my order, you'll see like the summary of uh, everything that you've purchased. And then you just need to make your payment. So once you've bought your hosting and domain name, the next stage now is you're going to be sent some emails and these emails will contain all your credentials. Okay, so let me show you what that email looks like. So I'm going to switch over here to this tab and this is an example of the email. So first of all, you have your control panel login details, as you can see here. And then further down here, now this is the most important part. So this is where you have your admin login, okay? So your admin login is right here. So all you have to do is to click this link and it will take you to the page which was created automatically by InMotion Hosting. So they're taking all the hassles of you trying to install your WordPress install yourself. So this is automatically happening behind the scenes. Over here, you can see we have a username and password as well, which is fantastic. So you don't need to worry about any of that. So the next stage now is to actually go to our website. So that is step number one. So when you go to your website, this is what it will look like. So this will just be a normal uh, WordPress install. So to log into your uh, admin dashboard now, and this is where all the magic happens, okay? You need to come over here. And um, in fact, if you go back to our email, we notice that it's our domain name. Uh, in this case, it's .co.uk and then forward slash WP admin. So when you come to your website, this is what the world sees. But if you want to go in and manage your website, this is where you add WP hyphen admin. So this is like your secret door into your own website. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. Now over here is where your username goes. Okay, so here, if I go back to my email, our username is that and then we also have a password. So this is where that information goes. Okay, so I'm just going to add my username and password. Great. So now that I'm logged in, this is step number one. So we've registered our domain name and we've set up our hosting. And after that, our WordPress website is automatically set up. Okay, so now let's move on to step number two. And step number two is setting up all our pages. So what you want to do is to come over here to pages, click on add new. So my first page is going to be home. I'm going to click on publish and then I'm going to come back over here to the top and then click on add new. So I'm going to call this about, I'm going to publish it and then back here on the top, click on add new. Now this one here is going to be called services, publish, add new and this one's going to be our contact page and then we're going to publish. So now we've added about four pages. Now, how do we see all our pages? All you need to do is to come over here and click on all pages. Okay, so now these are all our pages. Now we have this sample page that comes by default with WordPress. Let's go ahead and delete that. We don't need that. Okay, so I'm going to trash that. And uh, this privacy policy page, again, I'm just going to trash this for now. So these are the four pages that we need. So uh, let's take a look at these pages and uh, see how they look. Okay, so I'm going to go to the home page. I'm just going to view that. So as you can see, this is our basic page. We haven't added any content onto it, but that's what we're going to do on step number three. Okay, so we have all our, our pages now. 
I'm going to click my logo to go to the home page. And this is how the page looks. The next stage is to assign a home page to our website. So back over here, I'm going to go to settings, reading, and then over here, I'm going to come to static. And then I'm going to select my home page and my home page needs to be home. I'm going to save changes. Now, my next step is to set my permalinks. So I'm going to come over here to permalinks. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I have this custom structure selected and click on save changes. Now, the final thing is to set up our menu. So if I come over here to our website and refresh, we notice that although we have our pages, there is no way to navigate to go to the other pages. So we need to make sure that we set it up. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here and we're going to go to appearance menus. Now we're going to call this menu menu one. We're going to create the menu. And then I'm going to add these four pages to the menu like that. And here is where we can rearrange them in the order that we want. Click on save menu. Okay. So now that our menu has been created, all we need to do is to assign that menu. So I'm going to come over here to manage locations. And then for the top menu, I'm going to click here on select a menu and then assign it to menu one, click on save changes. So now we're going to go to the front side of our website and see if that has been applied. So I'm going to come over here. Now, remember, uh, when we first took a look at this, there was no links to other pages. So I'm just going to refresh this now. And now we can see our pages, home, services, about, and contact. Great. So we've done stage number two now. We've created our pages. We've set our home page. We've set our menu. Now let's move on to step number three. Now, step number three is where we get to download what is known as a page builder. Now, this stage is very, very important because when you take a look at all those beautifully designed websites on the internet, they probably use page builders because a page builder allows you to design your pages, add colors, add structures, add layers, add images anywhere you want on your website. And even better, the page builder I'm going to show you is one of the best in the world. It's called Divi and it also has pre-made templates. So you don't have to go in and crack your head and start designing all these layouts. These are made out already, but I'm going to show you where they are. Okay. So I'm just going to show you here on this page where Divi is. So over here, we can see this empowers over half a million customers. So most of the websites you see out there that are beautifully designed, chances are it's built using Divi. Okay. But of course, there are other page builders out there, but I recommend Divi because their support is amazing. They're always adding features. And not only that, if you buy Divi and you've used my affiliate link in the uh, description box below, I will also give you a full Divi course, which shows you how to use Divi. Okay. So this course costs $249. You'll get this course absolutely free. So now that we've established which page builder we're going to use, Let's go ahead and let's download it. So I've already got an account. So I'm going to come over here to log in. I'm going to add my username and password. Click on login. Right. So this is my account area. So here is Divi. So this is what we need. This is the package. So I'm going to click here on download. So as you can see, it's downloading onto my computer, which is great. And now the next thing we need to do is to come over here to the account and go to API key. And we need to copy this API key. It's very, very important that we have this API key. So I'm just going to hit copy. We are going to be using this later on. Okay. So now that I have this information, I'm just going to click on log out. Now, before we go back to and continue working on our website, there's something very important I want to show you. And this is right here in the bottom right hand of the corner. So if I click here on this icon, we notice that we have this chat system. This support is amazing. The guys behind the uh, support are developers and they will help you with any problems that you encounter using Divi. And there's no other page builder out there that offers this much support. And in terms of price, this is also the best priced product out there when it comes to page builders. And that's why I'm hundred percent behind it. And that is why I'm really working hard to help you get the best software that you can use to build your website and also the best support. Okay. With that said, let's go now to our website and let's install Divi. Now it's time to move on to step number three. So this is where we get to install Divi. Okay. So, uh, what you want to do here is to come over here to the dashboard, click on home and then click on appearance themes. Then over here on the top, you want to click on add new. 
upload theme, choose file. Now my file, if you remember, it was downloaded onto my downloads folder. So I'm going to come over here to downloads and here it is Divi. I'm going to double click on it, click on install now. And then the next thing you want to do is to activate Divi. Right, so now that we have Divi installed, you'll see this massive D here, and that just shows you that everything is okay. Now, the next stage is to add our API key that I copied earlier on in the previous stage. So I want to come over here to Divi, click on theme options. We're going to come over here to our last tab, click on username. I'm going to add my username there and paste my API key and then click on save changes. Now, it is important that you add your API key because by adding your API key means you'll be getting all the updates, be it security updates or feature updates automatically onto your website. So without adding this, you will not have those features. Okay, so now that we've saved our API key, everything is all good. The next stage now is to actually choose our pre-made templates. So this is stage number four. So what you're going to do now on stage number four is we're going to come over here to pages and then click on all pages. So we're going to start off with the home page. So I'm just going to come over here and click on edit. At the moment, the page is plain. It's, it's got nothing on it. So we're going to click here on use Divi Builder. And then we're going to go straight to the visual builder. Now, if you're new, you also have this tour. So to be honest, we don't really need this. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on start building. Right, so this is where we get to choose how we're going to build our website. So because this is a quick way of setting up your website, we're just going to go straight to our pre-made layouts. Okay, so these are layouts that are created for you, which you can just import onto your page. Now, in fact, you know what? Let me just show you what they look like. So I'm going to come over here to choose pre-made layout. Now we have a lot of these. Look at this. We have 84 layout packs, which is a total of 632 total layouts. Now that's massive. And uh, this I think is the best out there in terms of page builders giving you pre-made layouts. Over here, we have the categories. We can choose from art and design, business, community, education, events, and so on. So let's say your website is to do with the uh, fashion and beauty industry. All you have to do is to come over here and this narrows down all your websites that you can get absolutely free. And not only that, I also forgot to mention that these pre-made layouts, you can also make some requests and this area here will be updated. In fact, these two new pre-made layouts that are added every single week. So you're guaranteed that you will see a pre-made layout here that suits you, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just gonna assume that uh, I'm in the health and fitness uh, industry. So I'm gonna come over here to health and fitness. And then I'm just going to choose the layout pack that I want to go with. So I'm going to come over here to, uh, let's say, so let me go with the fitness gym. Okay. So I'm going to click here on fitness gym and take a look at this. This is actually fantastic because you can get to have a preview of these pages. So if you look here on the about, it just gives you an idea of how the about looks like. The blog, the classes, the contacts, the landing, the pricing, and the homepage. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to go ahead now and install all the layouts onto the pages that we created in step number two. So I'm going to go ahead now and use this layout and notice what happens. In a few moments, that layout is going to be downloaded onto our homepage. Okay, now that is huge. Okay, so now that we've downloaded this pre-made layout on our homepage, let's take a look at what it looks like now. So if I come over here, this is what it looked like before. You can see it's pretty much ugly and uh, doesn't give us a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, making some changes to it and making it look great. So now if I refresh this page, notice what happens. We have this brand new layout, okay? It's got animations. It's got beautiful colors. So all you have to do now is to go in and customize it. And in fact, I will show you how to do that. Great. So now that we have this, Let's go ahead and do that to all the other pages. So I'm going to come over here to services. Click on enable visual builder. Choose pre-made layout. We're going to come and look for our fitness page. And it's this one right here. Select my about page. Use this layout. Okay, so now this is our about us page. It's great. I'm going to save that. Move on to the next one. Enable the visual builder. 
choose pre-made layout, health and fitness. We're going to choose our fitness gym. And this one here is the about page. I'm going to click on use this layout. So pretty much we've added all the content that needs to go on all our pages. So over here now, I'm just going to refresh this so we can see all the pages. So I'm going to come over here to my home page. And as you can see, this is our home page. It's got all the content on it. I'm going to go to the services page. The about page. And the contact page. Now we have all our four pages all set up. Let's move on to step number five. And this is our final step. So what we want to do here now is we want to go in and make some adjustments to the content that we have on these pages. So it may be that you don't need all this information on it. So you can, I want to show you how to go in and delete the stuff that you don't need and add information that you need to just make this your own website, your custom website. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my dashboard, go to all pages. So we are going to start with our home page. So I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to go to use visual builder. Right, so first of all, this one, uh, this area here says DV fitness gym. So this here can be changed. You can just highlight it like that and call this max fitness gym. And by the way, this is how you edit all these pre-made layouts. It's very, very straightforward. You can customize. Once you set up all these pages, you can go in now and customize everything that you have on this website. And this is the beauty of having a website set up, up and running very, very fast. Okay. So what you could also do is to go in and click this gear icon here like that. And then what I normally do is I snap uh, this settings pane to the left. So this allows me to see all the changes I'm making. So over here now, if you go to design, you can actually go into this text here and customize and change the font and all that good stuff. So let's say uh, you want to get rid of uh, this part right here because it has too much information. All you have to do is to mouse over this area here. And once you see that blue, it just shows you what is held in that blue section. So you want to go ahead and delete that. And as you can see, that whole part is now gone. Okay, now over here, let's say you want to add your own video. So all you have to do is to click this gear icon. Now this takes you into the, uh, the video itself. So let's say you want to add your own video. So all you have to do is to delete this one here and then click this plus button to add your own and then insert from URL. So this is now where you go to YouTube or Vimeo and get a link to your video. So I'm just going to go with, um, okay, let's go with this trailer here. So you want to come over here to share and then copy and then come back over here and paste the link. Okay. And then click on insert into post. And now you have your own video. Okay. And what you can also do on the overlay is you can come over here to overlay and change that image. So let's, let me just show you quickly how you do that. So I'm going to delete this one here and add my own. So I'm going to go to my library and uh, let's say I want to go with uh, this one right here. I'm going to click upload an image. And in a moment, you'll notice that my image now has been changed. Now I can go ahead and save. Okay, so now you can just go through this and delete, you know, all the parts that you don't need and add information to the parts that you need. Now, I know this may, may seem overwhelming uh, when it comes to making changes and making additions to this layout. Now, what I'm going to do for you is if you've uh, bought Divi or even the hosting using my links in the show notes below, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you access to my two courses. The first course is WordPress Mastery. It teaches you how to design websites using WordPress. And the second course is 
DV Blueprint 3. Now, this course has everything that you need to know in order for you to create amazing websites using Divi. But this is the best way you can get started. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.